Urban Programmer here back with another video. In this video I will be showing you how to use Share Preferences in Android Studio. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a string variable and an integer variable to save. And the string variable will be string name and I'll set it to equal empty string and then for the int int variable to be int number set the number equal to zero now I'll come down and first I'll create a save met a save method make it private for save d data Now I'll create a share preference variable. Share preferences prefs name of prefs equal pre preference manager dot get share preferences and inside you wanna push get application context And this creates the uh, share preference. Now, if you have like an error right here, you want to click on Alt Enter to make sure you import the library. Because if you don't have a library importer, you will get that. You should have Android.Content.SharePreferences library imported, and you should have Android.Preference.Preference Manager library imported. So make sure you have those imported. Then after that. Um, We'll open the edit editor, share preference since dot editor call the editor editor equals press dot edit. We need to do this. Um, so that we can commit to the editor and then so now that we got the editor open editor dot put since we're saving we'll be putting the strings string we'll call the value inside of the share preference we'll call it name and then we'll put the variable name to save it these are two parameters. The first parameter takes the name that you want to store the share preference as, and the, the second parameter actually takes the value of the share preference. Now we want to do the same thing with the number, with the integer. So put int, and we'll call it number, and then the value will be the number. Got a red error did I call okay. Lower case. Okay, I wonder why. Now we'll do editor dot commit. And this um, lowercase, and this um, saves. It. So now to load it, we'll create another method. We'll create another private method. Private load void. Okay. Load data well, and you could copy and paste these uh, first two lines over into the load method then we'll say name we'll make our name variable equal to the preference to the store preference which is prefs value so prefs 
get string. You got two parameters, and this so you want to put the name, same name as the one that you use to save it with, and then you want to put a default value. I'm just gonna put just empty string value. So just like when you're saving and when you're loading it, when you're getting it, you have two parameters as, as well. So you got the name of the stored value and share preferences, and then you got you got a default value just in case. So you can make your default value whatever you want. I'll do the same thing for number. Prefs dot get int this time we want to use int and we'll use it we'll get, we're getting number then we'll have a default value as zero for default value then edit editor doc Net. and that's it that's basically how you create two methods for uh, share preferences a save and a load and now I will show you an example of it actually working okay so I want to take I want to take I've already created a uh, two button button click methods or one button click methods to handle two buttons and when I um, on the first button it's gonna be a save button so I want to put this save I want to uncomment some other stuff that I have on here. So we're going to put save, and then this for then we then we got another button to load it, and we're going to add load data. So I'm putting these two methods in the button click. So when these buttons are clicked, they will um, trigger those methods. Okay. Okay, let me save this. Synchronize. Now let's run. I'm using a live device. Soon as um, soon as the app out loads up, we'll see it on the screen. I'm using a real device, not an emulator. Okay, it's installing that APK. Okay, so now we have it. So now, here we have an edit field for name, and we have an edit field for number. So when I insert something in here, and then And then, and then uh, when I save it, it'll save these values. Then when I load it, it will load these values right here for name, for name results, and here for number, number results. These are just two text fields. So, I'll call the name Urban. I'll set the number to 71. Alright, hold on. 71. Click 
done. Now, now I'm going to click save to trigger the uh, save preference. Now I'm going to click low. Now when I click low, these values should, should change. See, urban 71. Just to make sure it's working, we can try it again to some, something different. Programmer. And I'll set this to 31. We'll save that. Load it. And you see these values change. So that's how you um, that's how you create sh uh, shared preferences in uh, Android Studio. I think it's one of the be best ways to save data without using a database. And it saves, it keeps the data on the user's device as long as they have the app. As long as they 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 don't clear the data or uninstall the app. To share preferences will remain on their app. So um, that's another video, Urban Programmer. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.